<clears throat> so totally strange been this process of entrepreneurship and choosing products and figuring out how to sell them and figuring out how to sell products. A lot of times you'll find something that you think works, you validate it, it does indeed work, you sell it, you sell it in a certain format, and you realize you can sell it in different formats, you can sell it in different ways, so sizes, shapes, to solve different problems. But the idea here is that what I'm finding with products, which is really strange, that I think, totally hairball idea here, that the pattern that you're following is not seen as fractal. So you have to have the same idea. You know, hemp cloth, hemp cleaning cloth, function of it, function format, all the different ways it can be sold, sizing, usage. And then you can start thinking about different ways to do that. So that would look like, for example, you know, selling a one cloth. Okay, I can sell one of those, cool. Okay, but sell one cloth and a pack of three. Okay, why can I sell in a pack of three? Because obviously the USB, the the value statement that you're making to the customer is replaces your paper towels, sponges, dishcloth. Okay, now going from selling it one to three, right? Okay, then I have three. I go two different sizes. So I can say, well, you know, I have a small and a large. Well, why do you need the small, David? Well, you need the small because it's a great dishcloth size. If you use the large, it's going to flop around too much. Okay, I'll eat it. There you go. So, you know, you could you, so you sell them things in different ways in different formats, and so you try for a little while as an entrepreneur. Now be quiet so I can say this. Hold on. You try for a while as an entrepreneur to look for other things that then win, and so you, the the mindset there is almost like picking a winning a winning horse, you know, winning racehorse, for example. Whereas the mindset with this, and it's just abstract, but the pattern that I'm seeing here is that. You find an idea, you figure out, and you kind of map out that idea until you understand all of the problems surrounding the idea. Once you have a grasp on the problems, then you figure out different ways to address the problem. And so that could be like the, the size of the cloth, like I was saying, or the you know quantity in the pack, and then you can figure out how to explain that to somebody so that makes sense. It's kind of like selling dark arts, right? So anyways, the answer with the one cloth is if you want to continue to expand, you know that the customers are already validated, they like that product, so you continue in the same direction. It's like you're walking into the fog. Because you know the customer really likes the product as a paper towel sponge replacement in the kitchen, then it makes sense to make a different size. Make a, let's make a mega one cloth. Let's make a big one, a huge one. We'll stitch it up, really heavy duty. It'll be really cool. That would be a cool stretch goal for our coming Kickstarter. Or if you're watching this and I'm already doing something, the current Kickstarter. So anyways, if you find a product that appears to be very fractal with how that idea becomes something. Uh, you, we could talk about it later on about how that maps onto different businesses.